He's yelling, there's a giant bear stuck on the porch. An unexpected visitor wandered his way into Melissa Champney's mud porch in Grafton overnight, startling her and her husband and leaving quite the mess. I looked out the dining room window and no, there really was a really big bear and stuck on the porch, um, eating the porch as a matter of fact. <laughs> The Champneys say the male black bear was inside for roughly 45 minutes, blocking the only entrance to and from the home. Melissa's husband had to jump out of a window and open the door to the mud porch from the other end to free the bear, but not before he did some serious damage. All right, this all used to be sheetrock, mind you. Everything had sheetrock and studs and insulation. So you can see there's no longer sheetrock. The Department of Fish and Game says it's rare for black bears to make their way inside of a home or a mud porch but adds they're always looking for easy snacks like bird seed, unsealed garbage, and pet food, which is probably what lured this bear into the porch. The bear finds their food by the sense of smell. So, you know, keeping these items such as a grill clean or keeping your garbage in airtight containers so that the smell can't get out, you know, those are the first important steps to um, tricking a bear, not letting a bear find it. I'll never forget my husband telling me to stand in front of the door and do not let this bear in the house. That's what. That's the part I think I'm not going to forget. And the Department of Fish and Game says that black bears, for the most part, are afraid of humans. So if you do look out your window and you see one feeding from your bird feeder, which you probably should have put away a few weeks ago, they say make as much noise as possible. That should scare the bear away and let him know that he doesn't belong there. We're live in Concord tonight. Scott Cook, WMUR News 9.